right, you guys, I'm on the fence. Should I go to the beach or not? <laughs> it's Saturday. It's kind of sunny. It's trying to be sunny. See? But I don't know. I see clouds coming, and that's always where the clouds come from. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide. It's Saturday. Am I not allowed to hang out on the beach on a Saturday? Anyway, so um, I felt in a rush this morning because I wanted to get to the beach <laughs> before all the clouds. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd do stairwells for my cardio today because I haven't done them in a while and I haven't done my power squat blast in a while and uh, I thought it was time I better do it. I haven't really been following my cardio cards very religiously this summer just because just because <laughs> some days it's just been too damn hot out to do hit okay <laughs> that's why so I've been doing a lot of endurance running um, as well as trying to take care of my hamstrings but I've got a bit of an interesting story about my hamstrings too um, I don't know what's going on with these babies because Last summer when I was swimming in the ocean, uh, by the way, I was at the beach for a little while yesterday and I was swimming in the ocean. Um, last summer, when I'd jump in the water, I would immediately feel them start to scream at me, especially when I would do it for like a frog kick or something. They didn't like that at all. Um, but this summer I've dived in a few times and um, they haven't argued with me even once, like not even a little bit. So I found that really, really interesting. And so yesterday um, I swam, swam a whole bunch and I actually went, did a bunch of experimentation for a while. I just treaded water and um, moved my legs in all different directions trying to experiment with what might hurt them and nothing did. <laughs> so I keep, I keep kidding myself and telling myself, hey, they feel great. They must be getting better. Maybe they're finally getting better. And then, you know, a couple months will go by and all of a sudden they'll just flare right back up again. So anyway, so... Um, Last night I went to bed with them feeling great. I thought, wow, they feel great. I managed to stay off that chair for a long, most of the day. And, um, you know, any computing I had to do, I just did on the couch and stuff with my laptop. So when I went to bed, I thought, wow, they feel great. That's awesome. And I woke up this morning and they kind of hurt a little bit. Am I hurting my hamstrings while I sleep? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> It, it would be bizarre if so, but maybe I'm sleeping in a weird position. I know I fall asleep on my front uh, with a pillow tucked underneath one of my shoulders. Um, it's just it's comfortable. <laughs> I know it's weird, but it's comfortable. Um, so, I don't know. I always wake up on my back, though. So, I, I don't know um, what I could be doing in my sleep. And I certainly don't know how I could fix that, if seeing as I'm doing it in my sleep. <sighs> anyway. So, um, so, yeah, I've got an exciting book to talk to you guys about today, actually. Um, uh, you guys know Tom Venuto is one of my favorite authors, and I've read his Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, and there's something on the sidebar telling you guys go, to go get it and all that stuff. It's a great, great book. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend body, uh, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle for anybody just starting out, just very, very first thing out. Um, however, <laughs> Tom, being the great guy that he is, has now written a new book. Um, and uh, I emailed him to see if I could get a copy of it because I really wanted to review it for you guys and take, you know, read it and see if, see what was in it and uh, see if it was any good. So um, it's not an ebook, unfortunately. So he actually he was very kind and um, emailed me back, asked me for my address, and he emailed it or he he mailed it, he snail mailed it to me, <laughs> and it came in like a week. So I was really excited by that, and he even signed it for me and everything. Uh, really excited by that and I sat right down to read it right away and uh, took it to the beach with me a couple of times and um, just really read, read, read right through it and um, I think it's an awesome book. Uh, hold on a second here, let me just grab it so I can show it to you. This is, I'm all sweaty right now, can you guys see? Look how sweaty I am from walking the stupid stairwell. <laughs> anyway, this is, oops, it's upside down. This is the book, this is the book right here. I hope you can see it. Uh, I'm actually going to turn the camera off now and set it back up on a tripod so I can have both my hands and flip through the book a little bit with you guys. So uh, I'll be right back, okay? All right, so the book, the book. Um, so yeah, so here I have to show you something first. So he signed it for me. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? He's a, very, he's a very nice man. I really like him a lot. And smart, smart and savvy and, and you know, everything. So I mean, this book, I told you guys that um, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle wasn't necessarily very good for beginners or the right book for beginners. Uh, this one would be. Um, and that being said, uh, it's also good for people that are, are, are already working out in advance and all that stuff. It's got a lot of really good information in it, but it's written in a, um, a really, really easy to understand format. 
uh, with a lot of explanation as to why he's getting to the points he's getting to with regards to certain workouts um, and certain moves and lots of pictures when he gets to the instruction. Uh, see, there's lots of like really great pictures here that show you what to do and how to do it, how to do the correct form, which I think is really important in a book. If there's no pictures, um, you can explain something all you want and it might not necessarily make sense to the person reading it. I know I have a heck of a time just reading instruction. I, have to, I go to YouTube all the time <laughs> to look at um, proper form for things. Um, exercises I haven't heard of before, whatever, I go YouTube them and, or Google them and look at pictures because there is just no better way to really know you're doing it right than to look at somebody else doing it. So he's got lots of that in here, which I think is awesome. Um, lots of ways to, uh, to, you know, start out a program, lots of ways to progress a program, um, and, you know, lots of information about, about diet and nutrition, You'll be shocked at the end of the book. I'm gonna ruin. I'm gonna ruin this for you now, you guys. This is a spoiler, okay? What's at the end of this book? <laughs> it's not really a spoiler. It's just it's an awesome thing. Look at it. it's pages and pages and pages and pages of um, nutritional information on every kind of food you could ever imagine, and it says the calories, protein, carbs, fat, fiber in every one of these foods. So I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So I really enjoyed this book. I think it was, it's really, really great. If you're just starting out, it's a definite read, must read. Um, if you've been working out for a while, it, it's also extremely valuable information, explains a lot of things um, in like a, just a no-brainer kind of way, you know, easy to understand and all that stuff. So um, anyway, it's, there's a lot of things in here as well. Uh, one of the biggest things in here is about mindset as well, uh, how to change your mindset. That was one of the big things for me. Um, yeah, I love my food and all that stuff, and I've heard people tell me, yeah, I could get in shape, but I just love food too much. Oh, God, am I tired of hearing people say that. <laughs> That's an excuse to, to be fat. I'm sorry. It really is. Uh, I love food too much. I love food too, but I don't, I, you know, I mean, I don't have to overdo it with food. Um, and he talks a lot about um, mindset, turning your mindset around to things like being able to say no to bad food when it's time to say no to bad food and being able to have a cheat day and, and enjoy your cheat day as well as how to wrap your mind around um, accepting your lifestyle as now a lifestyle of working out and staying fit and being good to yourself. So a lot of that I think is really, really, really important. It's probably the most important thing about getting fit um, and being healthy is being able to change your mindset and believe that that is the person that you are now. Um, when I, when personally when I got that mindset firmly implanted, everything changed. Nothing's hard anymore for me. I don't, I don't have these internal dialogues with myself anymore about, um, oh, should I work out? Oh, I don't feel like it. Oh, should I, you know, sh oh, I really want to eat that food and, oh, but I shouldn't. You know, I don't have those inner dialogues anymore because I believe for myself that I'm a healthy, fit person and this is the way I live my life and, um, and I do it. It's habit. It's become habit. People ask me now what motivates me. <laughs> Nothing motivates me. It's habit. It's me. It's, there's nothing to be motivated by <laughs> except me, my internal stuff. So he talks a lot about that kind of stuff, and I think that's really, really great. So um, you can't get an e-book, unfortunately. It doesn't exist. But it comes in a couple of cool ways. It comes like this hardcover, uh, which is, you know, there's nothing better than just sitting down with a good old-fashioned hardcover book, in my mind, you know? I mean, you can't read in a Kindle on the beach. I don't know. <laughs> Taking a hardcover book to the beach uh, or a softcover book, whatever, um, I like doing that. Um, we're just curling up on the couch with a book instead of with your laptop. Um, so unfortunately, you can't get an e-book, but you can go to any bookstore and get this. And I've just saved you um, flipping through it because we just flipped through it quickly together. Um, so if you don't feel like going to the bookstore and flipping through it for yourself and picking one up, uh, there's a couple of links here. There's a couple of widgets that I've loaded up that you can order it from Amazon as well as there's also an awesome audio version of this book uh, as well that there's also a widget here that you can click on and it'll send you an audio version. It's hours and hours and hours long, so be prepared to be listening to it quite a bit. Um, you know, put in your MP3 player and listen to it while you work out. <laughs> That'd be good. Um, but yeah, so there's an audio version as well. And I think the widget I'm going to load up is actually you can click on it and it'll play a, an excerpt from the book so you can hear how it sounds. So that's a cool thing too. 
So anyway, that's the book. Um, I highly recommend it. And you guys know I don't recommend crap, right? So I don't, I don't recommend things I haven't personally read or had experience with. Uh, and I have read and had experience with some things that I do call crap. This is not one of them. So, um, you know, you guys know you can trust me. I don't tell you bad things. So that's it for today. Uh, I think, I don't know, am I going to the beach? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it keeps getting cloudier and cloudier the more I talk. So anyway, so I hope you guys are having a great, uh, great weekend and we'll see you again very soon. Okay, take care. Bye.